John Stouts answered the phone and got horrible news. He said he was from the United States Marine Corps and that my son had been killed in live fire practice. The call was devastating because John does have a son who's a Marine. I didn't know what to say or do. I was just like in awe. The caller asked about burial plans and said he needed John's social security number to verify his identity. I started thinking, well, this is kind of odd because I've seen it where the military comes to your door, not not call you on the phone. But before realizing that, in his shock and his grief, John handed over his information. Still heartbroken, he called his wife and family members. His daughter quickly realized John's son was just fine, but John had been scammed. You don't know how much of a relief it was. This is one of the first times I've heard about the military twist to it. And Bess Ellenson with the Better Business Bureau says this is a different twist to a common scam. And what scammers are doing is they are in preying on people's fear. They know like preying on your emotions, getting you at a weak time, you're more likely to give up your personal information. John had time to report before damage could be done to his credit. Somebody with a really bad thought, twisted thought would have to do this. Lauren Lamanchek, CARE 11 News. Well, the BBB calls this kind of scam an imposter scam. They say it's never a good idea to give your personal information over the phone to someone claiming to be from a government agency, including the military or the IRS.